let's talk about some Trello. So I think that this is a really good place to get started. If you haven't used Trello before, um, I'm not going to tell you to like go out and try something brand new today. But um, if you're looking at, uh, if you use or have employees, you have VAs, um, or even for yourself, for anything from content publishing um, to getting some, maybe some more complicated tasks than just like a single line. And especially if you're using things that have checklists. Uh, there's some some great things you can do with Trello and this comes up a lot that people are asking You know, how do I set this up? How do I use this best with I hired someone to work part-time for me? How can you remotely? How can I do this? Um, so let's talk a little bit more about that. And I want to show you exactly uh, How this can work and and how you can do this for yourself So let's go look over here. We're in my account in Trello And I've just set up a couple things real quick. So what you're seeing in case you're not familiar with this this whole area is called a board, all right? And then within here, you have lists. So let's say I added a bunch of cards, it would just continue down this direction. So these are individual lists, and then you can see add a card, add a card. So I'm just gonna put one, two, and three. So you can see it just goes down, and that's why it's called a list, okay? And for just this example, I said, let's say we have VA number one, obviously you can put someone's name VA number two, need help, completed, and templates. All right, so let's say you have a task, right? You come in here and you could write a description. I wanna say that um, here's an overview of the task, and then maybe a checklist because you have three things you want them to do, right? Or four in this case. So now you have that assign that to a VA. Now you might be thinking, well, how does a VA find out about this? Well, you have to join them or have them join and invite them to the board, but then you can have them watch uh, the list. I'm sorry, so you can click and go watch. And so VA1 should be watching this board. And all that means is they're gonna get notifications about anything that goes on in this board, okay? So when we created these cards, VA1 will get notified about that. Okay, and that's up to you how you wanna set that up personally. I also like augmenting this with IFTTT uh, or Zapier, and that can give you a little bit more customization instead of a Trello notification. For example, uh, maybe you're working with them in Slack, you could automate that, uh, or you know, an email goes to them and says, hey, here's the details of, of what was added or if things are edited. Okay, so the exact same thing for VA2. I'm not gonna go into this, I just wanna show you that you know this can work with more than one person. Uh, need help is a very common one and this should always be in there. You know, you can obviously call it something different, but this way the VA doesn't need to uh, um, maybe ping you directly, whether it's like an email, um, but they can move the card. And so let's say the VA went through and they got number one done, they got number two, but they're confused or maybe number three was incomplete or they just are stuck. Then they can just move it over here and this is one where you would wanna watch it. So I've already gone through and said, yes, I'm watching this because I want a notification when they have a problem. And then you could come back in here and say, you know, okay, number three is now okay. You know, or whatever you did. If you wanna do it that way, click save. Uh, you can also mention people in, in Trello. So you can use the at symbol and mention people. So very flexible. And then they could go back. Okay, they can pull it back and then continue working on it, and then when they're done, they can click on completed. Of course, what happens at this point is very much up to you, whether you just wanna be notified if something's completed, if you have a project manager, they need to, um, or you could have perhaps a list for projects. There's a lot of flexibility, but I wanted to show you the most simple way to set this up to start with. Now, one thing that I wanna spend one more minute on is if let's say you have uh, recurring tasks, then you might wanna have a template. So I'm just gonna call this template task one and we're gonna say that this is something very common and again I'm just gonna add some blank text here now what we can do is a couple things here you could come in and when this comes up again you could copy it and you could say which board do you want that's this board so we don't want to change that which list we could say you know what we're gonna assign this to VA2 in position one and we're gonna call it, it's not a template anymore, we're gonna call it, you know, task one, and then it even asks you, do you wanna keep checklists? So super neat. So we could go ahead and create that, close this out and go look and boom, right there. 
So now we could go in if we need to, you know, if there's some customization in here, we could we could add that in there and do anything else we need to do. Um, and then something else you get even for free with Trello, you get one of what they call power ups. Okay, if you want to pay uh, some more for their business class, yeah, I believe you can use it might be unlimited power ups. But for today's purpose, I mean, you could do all of this stuff for free and then you could use a power up and they have a bunch of these. But the one I want to show you is repeat card repeater. So what this does is what it says, it automatically creates duplicate copies of Trello cards at set intervals for repeated tasks. Now, the reason this is so cool is let's say that this task, we're now going to put it on Monday, is something that happens once a week and we want the VAs to do it. But we also want to make sure that they have a checklist, they can check it off, they can you know move the task to need help or complete it. Well, what we can do with this is now we see under power ups, we have a repeat. So we can do it weekly. I guess it's not showing up there. Um, you can pick the time and then you can pick the day. So obviously for us, we'd say Monday, I'm going to say, um, let's go with 9 a.m. You can choose, hmm, might be because I'm streaming, it's not showing, but you can choose some different um, every week, you know, every other week, every month. And then again, you choose the list and where you want it to go. In this case, uh, we would choose the list we want, which would might be one of the VAs, and then the position where we want it to go. You just click save, and it's got it in there. And now you can see up here, next repeat, and go in here, and again, if you ever need to edit that. So really powerful. Um, so this is the basics, and this is a great way uh, to get that set up so that you can start working quickly with VAs um, instead of having to do the email back and forth or even Slack or Skype, uh, you know, it goes, it'll drive you crazy. <laughs> Uh, so if you have any questions about this, feel free uh, to drop a comment or uh, join the group and ask. So, th But this is the basis uh, for starting kind of a pr easy and it's a free way to set up uh, project management and to be able to working with a, a smaller number of VAs or employees to get this done. And then you can start to imagine, okay, well, what if I put someone in charge um, who's running that for me, like a project manager, and then have it monitoring the VAs for me, things like that. And you start building these tiers up um, and you can see how this really helps. So hopefully that helps. That's a the quick and uh, dirty guide to using Trello for outsourcers and uh, employees. And as I mentioned, also Zapier and IFTTT. And the really powerful stuff with that is ability for really customized notifications. Uh, but you can also then start to automate some of the ways where cards are moved um, or data is taken in and out of places. So um, again, it could be something like you have a, a weekly admin task that needs to be done. So you have that pop up in uh, Trello and is assigned. And then when it's done, perhaps that part of the task is some information is added. And then you could set up a Zap or a IFTTT applet that takes that information out, adds it to a spreadsheet, does whatever. So, you know, sky's the limit. Uh, and again, I don't want to overwhelm. I just want you to see that, that this is a really good way to get started um, and manage. So hopefully that was helpful.